You can smell that. Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Nelly! Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic Food Review just for you and just for you. I am in the sunny city of Amherst, New York, which is, I guess, a suburb of um, Buffalo. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know my geography here in, in this area of New York State, but uh, today we're gonna be trying the hot honey Hi, I like the uh, the hot honey chicken, please. Uh, the tenders or the sandwich or the whole chicken? Uh, let's do the the three piece tenders, please. Okay. Um, and it comes with a side of mashed potatoes. Is that fine? Uh, can I do fries instead? <laughs> and no problem. Anything else? Please? And that's it. Thanks. All right. Uh, any stuff. Thank you. All right, so 597. I forgot you could do uh, the sandwich, the tenders, or a whole chicken, apparently. That's what he said, didn't he? He said that. I heard him say, or the whole chicken. I didn't know they gave away the whole chicken that's hot honey chicken. Did you? How you doing, sir? All right, how you doing? All right, thank you, man. We got $15.03. Thanks. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Sure. Thank you very much. Is the receipt in there? Uh, may, I, may I please have it? Thank you. No have a great day. No All right, people, let's park it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Get out the trusty tray. The bill came to, so it was $5.49 before taxes. And after their really inexpensive taxes here in Buffalo or in Amherst, uh, came to $5.97. And we've got a big bag. I don't know why it would all come like this. The side. Okay. Oh, yeah, you guys do wedges here. They're not fries. We've got napkins. We'll need that. we got a fork. We're going to definitely need that. And I believe this comes with pickles, too. And a, and a biscuit. I know you guys get mad when I call it a bun. But... It just happens that way. I apologize. All right, let's get right into the the wedges first. I don't think we got any bonus one. Oh, I just made a bonus one. Check that out. Ooh la la. Mm. Oh, crunchy. Crunchy. Mmm. Yeah. Not a whole lot of seasoning on there, but it needs a bit more salt. So that's the tray of fries you get. You can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. I don't mind wedges once in a while. It's not my preferred potato. But it's nice to be a bit different once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Although they're not seasoned, they've got the right amount of salt on it. You can taste the sodium. The first one I had, it almost hits like they didn't put salt on it. But as I'm eating more of them, the sodium on it. They are fresh though. Super hot. Nothing worse than a cold fry. Nothing! Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. That's not good. All right. Flavors of the South. We've got a nice little trough happening. And I do believe in the picture, it had pickles on it, but we'll see. I'm not sure if pickles and honey are gonna be a favorite of mine. In the picture, it showed pickles. In reality, no pickles. Let me know in the comments below. Woo! You can smell it. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Nelly! Oh, that'll clear your cold up. Wow! It's like that vinegar vapor killing ya. Woo! And we've got our biscuit. That's gonna be for dipping, because there's lots of sauce in here. Let's just throw that in there. I'm not gonna get anything in that bag. All right. Let's do this, see if we can pop that through. It should just pop through, right? There we go. 
Usually there's always like that piece of plastic left on the end after I do that. And that just drives me nuts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, does that look as honey coated as the picture? I don't think it does. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just drained off by now. I don't know. Let's give that biscuit a try. Mmm. Nice and fresh. Mm. Maybe a little dry, but we'll be dipping. I brought water. All right, let's try for the first time the hot honey chicken. This one looks like the gooeyest one, so I'm doing it. Ooh, this side looks nice and slimy, nice and shiny. Mmm. And those savory flavors. And then the sweet. And then the chicken. And now I'm getting the heat. Ooh. Not bad. KFC. Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is mine. Mmm. I kind of want to redip it in the sauce without flipping it in my car. I'm gonna try not to bite that whole thing. It's almost like um, a light barbecue, sweet, spicy, savory, all in the same bite. That's pretty cool. I'm liking it. It's, it's, I was trying to imagine what it would be uh, before I even bit into it. When I was looking at the poster on the wall there in the window, I'm like, oh, I wonder if this is going to be like just like chicken and honey and deep fried goodness. But no, they surprised me with a few extra flavors in there as well. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I'm loving this a lot. I, I could totally see me ordering this a few times if it was uh, in my area in Canada because this is look oh so, especially when you re-soak it and it's got that glistening honey. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all my awesome fans, viewers, new viewers, old viewers who live in the New York state. This bite is for you. And thanks for watching my videos at one o'clock in the morning. I hope you do. Mm. Mm. All right, guys, as you know, I'm always hungry. So I'm gonna polish the rest of this off, some more fries, and I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, two points for Ken. Did it go in? Pretty much. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm going to have to give KFC's Hot Honey Chicken I go out and get it now. It was really, really good. Uh, I wish the, the pieces of chicken were a little bit thicker. You know when you get a uh, really thin piece of chicken and almost, I don't know, just... It almost has that kind of beef jerky kind of flair to it just because they're so thin and then they kind of they cooked it properly but uh, i just wish they're a little bit thick thicker Ooh la la. The, the, but the sauce the honey uh the hot honey spicy sauce on it was fantastic way to go kfc usa loved every single bit of it the biscuit i'm not sure if it was supposed to fall apart as much as it did i was trying to drag it drudge it through all that sauce and then eat it. But every time I went to drudge, it just all kept crumbling apart. So I'm not sure, would you think, would you consider that being a dry biscuit or is that the right kind of biscuit where it just falls apart really easily? I don't think it's supposed to fall apart that easy. So I'm thinking maybe it was on the little bit of a dry side. Other than that, it was a go out and get it now. The fries were fantastic. Uh, the chicken was not overcooked. It wasn't undercooked, so that was awesome as it was. All in all, KFC, you did a great job. Awesome. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. 
But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you and you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic food review. Ken Domic out. Boop. It looks good in the shade though, doesn't it? Eh? As soon as you get in the sun, it gets all kind of wacky. The lighting's going to suck. Look at this. I don't know. There's no parking. <laughs> Tons of parking. What am I saying? <laughs> so I got to park over that way. Silly Ken. Silly Kensters. Put the fork in there, how about? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's give that bun. Whoops. Let's give that. Uh, you gotta say it right or people get mad. All right. <coughs> Missed. That was sad. All in. <laughs> but if you wanna show your support for me, support, support. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.